many cities, big and small, this has been the deadliest year ever. In Philadelphia alone, more than 520 homicides, breaking a record that had stood for over 30 years. And for Desiree Goodson, too many agonizing moments to count. What will you miss most about him? Oh, Samir always smiles. Samir, he makes me happy, like he cheers me up. She still speaks about her 14-year-old son, Samir Jefferson, as if he's still here. But as a high school freshman waited for a bus last week, he was killed. Police say two people got out of a car, chased him across the street, then fired about 35 shots. These are some of the bullet holes still on the side of his pharmacy. Samir was hit 18 times. The people that kill Samir ain't killers. They monsters. Like, they shot my son 18 times. Among the other cities already setting records for murders this year, Portland, Tucson, Toledo, St. Paul, Austin, and Albuquerque. The debate over why is raging. Some experts blame the pandemic in part. Bail reform keeping more criminals out of jail, more guns, and fewer officers. Indianapolis also hitting an all-time homicide high. We are definitely recruiting, and I want to put those officers on the streets. Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner argues that while homicides are up in his city, other crimes such as rape and robberies that don't involve a gun are down. We don't have a crisis of lawlessness. We don't have a crisis of crime. We don't have a crisis of violence. But former Mayor Michael Nutter is slamming those comments as white privilege, saying the progressive DA has not been tough enough on criminals and demanding Krasner apologize to victims' families, like Desiree Goodson. My son's not coming back. I don't care about no justice. None of that brings him here back. None of it. None of it. Police here have arrested two suspects in connection to her son's murder. Tonight, two more are still on the run, Lester. What it do, what it do. It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Yeah, man. Uh, by the way, uh, I mentioned that I don't watch the news, and I don't. I actually, um, I don't know why I did this, but I, I decided to look up the top 10 most dangerous cities in America. Yeah, and yeah, I was looking at the rise in murder all around the country. And some of the cities that was once considered safe, they dangerous as shit now. Yeah, like Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas used to be a safe city. Yeah, it used to be a city that was known for, yeah, you could raise a family. And, yeah, that's the capital of uh, Texas, by the way. But, yeah, Austin, dangerous as shit. Um, of course, I always knew Shreveport, Louisiana was dangerous as shit. That's right by Marshall. But, anyway, um, yeah, um, got a lot of goddamn thoughts on it. Um <clears throat> By the way, uh, also, I got a, it, it's a lot of shit I got to address, so, I'm going to start a, yeah, I got a new series coming, uh, Texas Prisons, yeah, I want to talk about the criminal justice system, and, yeah, and, yeah, I shed a little light, open, open your, let you into my life a little bit more, yeah, let you know how I was criminalized at the age of 13, and I was once, uh, singing, uh, football playing star and yeah at 13 I was criminalized and I didn't realize what was happening to me and so I just thought I was a thug but now um, I was criminalized at a very young age and it affected my life so it's a lot of shit I want to discuss about this so I'm gonna start a little series and by the way this ain't to uplift I don't want to talk and I'm not dissing nobody but I don't want to talk about the craziest shit I saw no I want to talk about how the system destroys black men. I don't want to talk about uh, crazy old Pete and how he used to do crazy shit and how this motherfucker did some crazy shit and some wild shit. I'm not trying to entertain you motherfuckers. I'm trying to shed some light on how crooked this system is. So, um, yeah, I want to talk more about the criminal justice system, the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, TDC. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. So, uh, matter of fact, I might start the goddamn series later on. But, yeah, I want to talk about this. Uh, Philadelphia, uh, yeah, the 14-year-old, yeah, I know you heard it. Uh, he was shot 18 times. Um, yeah, by by two other brothers. They chased him down. <clears throat> but, um, and, 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 you know, a lot of, lot of these cities that I, I looked up. St. Louis right now is the most dangerous city in America. St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, I always thought that was where the players and the pimps were. 
everywhere we 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 are we are more dangerous than we've ever our cities uh the ghettos are more dangerous than it's ever been so i i had to point this out and another thing i want to talk about because i know a lot of you motherfuckers just you know so i gotta break this down too um i rarely talk about black on black crime and i want to explain why i talk more about the system because i understand that if if we can change the system if we can change um the way the structure of this country uh black on black crime will end today yeah black on black if the police wanted it to the black on black crime could end today yeah um the imprisonment of black men at the rate that it's been going that shit could stop today so i don't i don't got my finger pointed at the at the ghettos like that because i understand what's in the ghettos i understand that the same thing is in every ghetto chaos drugs murder prostitution every every everything you can think of is in all of our communities so how can i continuously and make my channel by blaming a bunch of motherfuckers that's born into a situation and i'm tired of these well-to-do blacks with this i did it you can do it too yeah i done it i was in the ghetto i still became an nba star everybody can't shoot hoops motherfucker so no i don't i don't normally talk about black on black crime because black on black crime was created that shit was created and uh it just plays on the self-hate psyche of the black man yeah the self-hate that's within us it plays on it it gives us every tool to destroy ourselves you know just like Pac mama said in that movie they're gonna give you every tool to destroy yourself and that's what happened so yeah um our cities are more dangerous than they've ever been uh atlanta is dangerous as shit and you know you know i, I almost made a video about these atlanta rappers i i wish all you motherfuckers quit talking tough I wish you motherfuckers just make, yeah, like for real. Yeah, I'm happy. Make songs like that, cause you mother, y'all the gay capital of the world. How are you motherfuckers tough? <laughs> you know, uh, like I said, Austin, Texas is dangerous uh, at this point, and that that was very shocking. Uh, of course, we know Detroit, Michigan is is super dangerous. Indianapolis, that fucked me up. Very dangerous right now. Milwaukee is very dangerous right now. These are the top ten dangerous. Las Vegas, and that was very surprising. Las Vegas, yeah, it's one of the top ten most dangerous cities in America. So, I'm just explaining this, and you know, I once, you know, cause my little hometown, you know. That motherfucker had a murder high a couple of years ago. Well, no, nah, it was about probably seven, eight years ago. And at that time, probably longer than that. But at that time, you know, as a teenager, you know, coming up to be a man, I, I used to be proud. When, yeah, when I was in the streets, I used to be proud of saying, yeah, yeah, a lot of murders now, a lot of unsolved murder. You motherfuckers better, you know, as a way to big up now. Nah, I understand now, bro. I uh, murders in my city is something I'd never be proud of, bro. I'd never be proud of all these women that are losing their sons. I'd never be proud of that shit. I'd never be proud of, of families and siblings that are never the same because she lost her brother. Now I could I could never celebrate that shit. So, man, uh, at this point, bro, there is nothing I you know. And and like I said, I'm changing. I'm changing my um. Uh, my message on this one i always say the system the system the system we gotta we we gotta be the police of our community we gotta we gotta be that we gotta be in that we gotta be in it uh it ain't gonna stop unless we stop it this shit ain't gonna stop unless we stop and and don't get me wrong it's a war if you're trying to stop black on black crunch to try to stop um the over the overwhelming use of drugs and all this corruption to stop all that is to go to war so like i said uh when you fight in a war it's a lot of fights you're gonna fight your own you're gonna fight the city you're gonna be it's gonna be enemies every every way where you turn because we live in a world of chaos and for you to try to change the community you got to go against the dope boy the dope boy is gonna want to kill you uh, the <laughs> it's a lot of because you fucking with their money, so it's a domino effect. So um, it's just a fucked up situation, bro. And uh, it's something I will continuously speak on. 
and you know what's so sad about it we really don't give a fuck and these are teenagers dying every day uh st louis right now they average a murder a day and most of these kids they under 20 they by 15 16 and they killed by a fifth our kids are literally killing kids our kids are are killing other kids these ain't grown men killing grown no kids are killing kids so like i said man uh as black men try to be a leader in your community man not don't don't try to be the dope boy of the community don't try to be the gangster of the community. Try to be the leader of your community. Try to try to protect these kids, man. Try to be there for these kids, bro. When you see that boy that's 10, 11 years old, stop him before, because in a couple years, he gonna have a pistol in his hand. Stop him before it get there. So um, it's just something that's very disturbing to me, and I just had to speak on it. This is 903 Boxing. I am your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.